Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Heavenly Father, we thank you because you are in control of every situation. We thank you because you are sovereign and you are almighty. And there is nothing that could happen without your knowledge of it. And so in this morning devotional, I pray, Lord, that you minister to our souls so that we will be confident in you and relax as our souls will be refreshed with your word. This I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our text is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 27, reading from verse 1. Jeremiah, chapter 27 from verse 1. In the beginning of the reign of Joachim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, came this word unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus said the Lord to me, Make thee bonds and yokes, and put them upon thy neck, and send them to the king of Edom, and to the king of Moab, and to the king of the Ammonites, and to the king of Tyrus, and to the king of Sidon, by the hand of the messengers which come to Jerusalem unto Zedekiah king of Judah, and command them to say unto their masters, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say unto your masters, I've made the earth, the man, and the beast that are upon the ground, by my great power, and by my outstretched arm, and I've given it unto whom it seems meet unto me. And now have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beast, of the field have I given him also to serve him. And all nations shall serve him and his son and his son's son until the very time of his land come. And then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. And it shall come to pass that the nation and kingdom which will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and that will not put their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon. That nation will I punish, said the Lord, with the sword and with the famine and with the pestilence until I have consumed them by his hand. Therefore hearken not ye to your prophets, nor to your diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers. We speak unto you, saying, You shall not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy a lie unto you, to remove you far from your land, that I should drive you out, and you should perish. But the nations that bring their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, those will I let remain still in their own land, said the Lord. And they shall till it and dwell therein. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our topic this morning says, God rules in the affairs of men. God rules in the affairs of men. Our reading today reveals why God must be revered and feared. Indeed, he is an awesome God. Jeremiah was made to wear the yoke of wood, which was a symbol of the light burden to be received by being under the king 
of Babylon, to whom God had promised to hand over the nation of Judah and her neighbors because he owns them all. Verses 1 to 5. We have to note, however, that Nebuchadnezzar was chosen as God's instrument, not because he was godly, rather he was borrowed to serve a divine purpose until his time is up. Verse 7. As a child of God, there are times when God will allow wicked people and persons to rule and met out discipline to his children. He may also allow painful and challenging situations to overwhelm us. Trying to avoid this may complicate issues further. We must also realize that bad leadership with the attendant policies, painful situations and challenges are periods of temporary trials which are bound to pass it was prophesied about Babylon. To a user of this devotional today, God is asking us to submit to his chastisement, hold the fort, and we will surely sing a new song. What a great revelation. Once again, I want to let us know that God is still in control. God is sovereign and God, he is almighty and his plans and choices for his people are unquestionable. God does things the way he likes it. And he chooses anything, any person he wants to achieve his own purpose and for the good of his own chosen people. This morning, we have read how God assigned of a Jeremiah to wear bonds and yokes and go to uh, King Zedekiah and let him know that it is mandatory that he submits to the control and leadership of the king of Babylon. As at that time, some people, some, some kings, five, about five kings, Vasa nations sent their envoys to come to Jerusalem and then plot on how to uh, um, uh, rebel against the leadership of uh, King Nebuchadnezzar. And God saw it, that it was not appropriate, that it was going against his will, because God has designed to chastise Jerusalem because of their iniquity, to prune them and to bring out the best of them through discipline. But they, they form alliance with the neighboring states in order to revolt against the purpose of God. And because of that, God also sent warning that anyone who fails to submit to Nebuchadnezzar fails to submit to him. And as a result of that, they, they will now face the consequences, which is God's severe punishment. You see, this morning, brethren and beloved ones, God is telling us that there is nothing that can take him unaware. No situation which, which may be into, or which, in, you, you, which you are into, he is unaware unto God. There is nothing that could take God unaware. And so it is very uh, pertinent that we know that God is in control. Our God uses things that are foolish to confound the wise. And that is the essence of this passage. That sometimes you may find yourself in an uncomfortable situation and because you don't feel uh, good about that you may want to revolt you may want to you may want to criticize you may want to um, uh, uh, work against the leadership and it is not 
in the principles of God. I want to let you know that God is sovereign. Today, in the nation, we are having a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulties, a lot of economic challenges. But all this, I know that God is using it to teach us and to train us, to bring us better people, to help us to appreciate Him more. I want to let you know that God, according to the scripture, it says that all things work together for good to them that love God and to whom He has called according to His purposes. God has called us and He will not let us down. He will not abandon us. Even in hard times, even in difficult times, Bible says that He chastises the son whom He loves. He chastises. Maybe because you are not in leadership. Maybe because you are not finding it comfortable where you are. You are now working against the system. Be beloved ones, I want to let you know that God is in control. All that God is demanding for us is submission, trust, and dependent on Him. God wants us to depend on Him in every situation. God wants us to be patient with Him in, even in times of difficulties. When we become patient with God, we will now see God working out His purposes in our lives. So don't be fast. Don't be too quick to, 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 to get out of God's chastisement, to get out of God's discipline, to get out of God's control. Even in that family, in that family, the marriage may not be too sweet. And because of that, you want to, you want to tender, uh, 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 you want to abort the marriage. You want to get out of the marriage. God is training you. Maybe you are in a place where things are not going well. God is still in control. God cares for us. And so in every situation, God wants us to understand that his plan is the best for us. God had a better plan for the, the people of Judea to bring them under control and to give them a better future. And because he said, I know the plans I have for you, the plan of good. The plan of good, if we surrender to the disciplines of God, if we surrender to the will of God, if we surrender to the mind of God, and then we will receive that plan of good. But if we walk against the will of God and stand against God's purposes, it may not go well with us. So believe, believe us and beloved people of God. Uh, the word of God is encouraging us today to depend on God. Believe him in any situation in which you may find yourself into. Depend on him. He will work out the best from that situation. He is the master planner. He is the great God who can use something that is nothing to achieve great things. He is bigger than our imagination and bigger than our thoughts. And so don't, don't, try, to, uh, uh, don't try to look at God from the situations in which you are into. God still loves you. And that condition does not signify that God does not love you. God is trying to bring you to a better place. And as you go out this morning with this mindset that God is in control of your business, maybe it's crumbling. God is in control of your family. Maybe it is shattered. God is in control of whatever and wherever you may find yourself. You will relax your mind. You will be relaxed and you will not be in haste and so provoke God. And so may God help you to understand this so that after being submitted to the will of God, you will shine forth as light. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Let us pray.
Heavenly Father, we thank you because you have encouraged us this morning, letting us to know, letting us to know that you are still in control in the affairs of men, no matter what happens and no matter the situation in which we find ourselves into. Lord, as we go out this day, this morning, God Almighty, help us to remain loyal to your will and to be patient with you until you work out your purposes as concerns us. This we prayed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.